So I am going to show you how to connect your XNES account to MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4. I love 5 because you can use a single button to close all positions. So assuming you open 10 or 20 positions, you can use a single button to close the positions. But for MetaTrader 4, you have to be closing them one, 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 one. And in that case, price may come back. If it is a very volatile market, price may come back and hit you before you finish closing it. And it can be stressful too. So I love MetaTrader 5. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you need your login details. So this is my FTMO account. And then you go to... You click on these three dots at the top left. I'm using a mobile phone. And then I click on manage accounts at the top. And then see this plus sign. You now add. So you are selecting CXNES technologies here, right? Or you can, if you can see any of the ones here, you can simply search for it if it is what you are, you are looking for. So you see there's XNES. SC, XNES CY, XNES UK, XNES VG, XNES BV, depending on the type that you are going to see in your account, depending on your location also. So before we learn or before we select this, you have to go to the XNES, open your XNES account, log into it, and this is a demo account for the XNES. So let me go to my real account. Okay. So there is none yet. So you can choose the type that you want. I want the pro. You can select the leverage. I want unlimited leverage. That's the advantage that XNES gives. And then I'll click on you enter your password. So, I will enter my password. So, you are creating a password for your account for logging in. That's for the real account. So, when you are done, what you do now is to go to your details. your settings so these are the login details so you copy this number that you are seeing here where they are writing login the server so is this server where you will search for the xness right you go in there so you write xness you search for it technologies right So this is it. So you go to XNES Technologies. And then here you check for MT5 Real. You see in our XNES account here, MT5 Real 9 is our server. Right? So is that one you select? So this is it. You can select different depending on the type that XNES is giving you. So I'm going in with this and then the login details that you copied, you paste it there, the password that you created there, enter the password for that account that you created. Once you are done, click on this to save the password for you, you click on login. So now it has connected, so you can come over here, you see the zero dollars in it so if it had any amount any amount you add on xness i've made a video on how to fund your account so any amount that you click on deposit i've done that already you select your payment method you can watch the video it will pop up in your screen right now so any amount you want to add you add it and then once it is added here you come here immediately you see it reflected you don't need to do anything here 
okay so if you want to take a trade go to quotes see the quotes here these are the current market i'm doing this on a set today so the forex market is not open on weekends and then you see these are the things that are available for you to trade if you want to if you want to add more quotes you come over here if you say forex you select or you can simply search gbpusd you click it will be added it means it has been added to the quotes you see it here appearing if you want another one maybe usdjpy you see it here you click it has been added to it when you come on that it has added so if you don't want any of the codes this uh, pencil button i want to click on the delete and then select the ones that you don't want them to be here. so i'm not going to be trading all these btc others ut litecoin srp all these i'm not so i don't want them clocking my space so i will just click and then click the delete button again it has deleted them so i want to shift the gpp up you click this the left hand side with this three dash at the side and then you shift it up those are the ones i want so that anytime i come to my code the first one i'm seeing is my favorite forex pa that i want to be trading okay so you can click on new you see my kid is currently closed so click on the subscribe button to see more of this bye